Hello everyone, it's Lumen here. We have a game in Arena in the first seat, which uh, should be good. Looking forward to this, especially because I am looking at an assistant tiller. Uh, hello, Merrick Sivir. Anyone else out there lurking? Um, we're up against Laoju, BG Freak, and Day Laborer. Drafting right behind Day Laborer, and we know Day Laborer has a tendency to take the Day Laborer cards. So, even knowing that, Tiller is too good to pass up. Um, looking at the ratings really quickly, Lao Juice 370, BG Freak 456, Day Labor 331. Pretty reasonable table here. Um, in the minors, nothing amazing. Uh, Fern Seeds does have some really nice moments. Hod can be pretty good. Chicken Coop is, like, fine. Mineral Feeder you always want to work, but never does. I guess I'll take Hod, but uh, not particularly excited by the miners. Passing a Patron and a Barrow Pusher, among other things. Clayfire coming back could be nice for the Hod. Keep in mind Stockman and maybe Pasture Master as well. Nutrition Expert is the high ceiling card here. And I mean, having a tiller does make nutrition easier, but you know, I don't have any crops yet unless I take this sack cart, which is, you know, not my favorite thing to do. Uh, stone clearing could be pretty good here, actually. Maybe the pick is just stone clearing. Um, the other thing I'd consider picking here is nutrition expert. Uh, lumberjack is a fun little mineral feeder idea, but does barrow pusher ever wheel? No. Music is a little loud. Gotcha. How's that? I mean, I still like Barrow Pusher and Patron more than the Miners from the first pack. Roof Ladder is a thought. Um... I think it's just stone clearing though. And do I want equipper, lumberjack, or just go for nutrition expert here? Just take this out. See if I can find some crops. We have a hay dryer. Whoa! Uh, greening plan looks pretty good here too. Um. Wow, hay dryer third? Passing a tutor? Uh, well, Ock might be a little hard to get at some points, but at least I'm in the first seat, um, having passed a patron already. But wow, hay dryer. Um, maybe I do try to make mineral feeder work here? I'm definitely missing crops as far as nutrition goes, so we're not nutritioning yet. But this is good. Music's better? Good. Come back, Lumberjack? We can hope. We can absolutely hope. But that Oc Pack was pretty bad. And Lumberjack was pretty speculative at the time. Uh, I don't need Rocky Terrain with Stone Clearing. I don't think I need to have Stone on my fields twice. Um... Hold on, there was plant fertilizer in my opening pack. Does plant fertilizer work on stone? I don't remember. Don't tell me if you know. This is my job to remember this kind of stuff. Not yours all to remind me. <laughs> I didn't say nutrition expert was not speculative, did I?
Nutrition Expert was definitely speculative as well, but I thought less speculative slash more dangerous to pass. <laughs> okay. Nutrition is important, that much is true. All right, hoping to find some crops here. Yeah, seed seller is kind of crops. Don't need game trade. Oh, lots of stable stuff. And a reno preparer. I don't think anything was particularly important for reno preparer. So I could dig a seed seller. There was a clay kneader in pack two. Um, I don't know, with rocky terrain and the stone clearing, is casual worker going to be any good? Even if I take seed seller, I don't have enough to make casual worker do well. And if I just had veggies, a gardener's knife would be great. Um, I think I just take credit. I do want to hearth this game for hay dryer's sake. I don't think oven sight is like easy enough to pull off though. So it's credit or gardener's knife and seed seller or casual worker. I guess casual worker is probably good in a hay dryer setup, free stables, and I don't think I want to like chase a stone reno to get stables. Credit does mesh nicely with a mishmash of feeding. Until I can like wait out getting a hearth even longer. Stockman did come back. I forgot that drinking trough. Plant fertilizer does work on stone clearing. Oh boy. Hey, Adiamont. You know, small basket is a little tempting here too, but I didn't take seed cellar. Um, hmm. Well, we have, we have options now. We can take Mineral Feeder and hope Lumberjack wheels, and that'd be pretty cool. I don't know, do I actually want Stockman? I don't really need Clay Fire, so screw it. Let's take Stockman. Uh, plant Fertilizer, I don't think I need to... I don't think I need to plant fertilize the stone clearing, as fun as that is. I don't see myself needing it. Um... And is this the day that I actually try to make Mineral Feeder work? I think this is the d a day where I try to make Mineral Feeder work. Day like five of this. It probably won't, honestly, but... And frickin' Lumberjack didn't come back, but a Quipper did? Why? I mean, Equipper's not bad here. But, why? I mean, it's better than Cookery Outfitter, even though we could try to wheel oven site. Wait, no, that was this pack. Never mind. I lied. Uh, do I want Garden Hoe? Am I ever sowing veggies this game? Greening Plan says you might not be sowing. At least late. Hey, Zazak. Do I really need a clay and stone? No. These last picks have, you know, questionable value. Uh, and then Sheep Whisperer, I guess? It would have been a lot better with Lumberjack. Gosh, I'm sad. Um, then Three Field is possibly useful while wholesale market I never have that many veggies to throw away 
Yeah, it's a bit of a weird hand, but I mean, we, we tiller, we hay dryer, we stone clearing, we greening plan. How bad could it be? We don't need the miners particularly early. Um, basically, none of them need to be early. I don't need to care too much about credit, I don't think. If, if an opportunity comes up to play a fourth Auk, I should just do it. But I think round one is just day labor plow. Or tiller day labor plow. Patron here, I would guess. That is not a patron. It's also not a private teacher, thankfully. Um, ooh. I didn't think about this at the time, but Clay Neater actually helps you play miners that cost two clay, such as Forest Lake Hut. I would not be too surprised to see Lao Ju do start player Forest Lake Hut. Hey, Cosmo. Yeah, yeah, Zazak, this is not a you style draft. Yeah, I never thought about Clay Eater as a way to enable Forest Lake Hut, but I do like Forest Lake Hut a good bit. It's just hard to play. And with no Major or Sheep round one, it's a lot more reasonable, in my opinion. Okay, pretty typical round one here. I want three wood, but, you know, I might not get it. Could very easily not get it. Uh, three wood, two reed. Reed stone are all fine. Laoju taking reed stone food over three wood in a food. That's fair enough. Reed obviously makes mineral feeder easier to play, but going forth, you know, probably not. Day labor already has five wood, so two reed would make sense if it wasn't already taken. Okay, let's see uh, day labor or ox or three woods here. Okay, I got three wood, nice. And Tudor made it all the way there. That means Laoju and BG Freak both didn't take patron? One of them has Barrow Pusher. And why did Stockman come back? I don't think there's any way Patron got all the way there, but I'm not sure. It could have. I mean, I don't know why someone who had Patron already wouldn't take Tutor. That's the weird thing to me. Oh, we have a start, a restart for Driftnet Boat. I'm less sure that that's good, given that Driftnet Boat is kind of expensive uh, room part wise. But, uh, you know, now you're getting a wood and two food every time you fish. That can't be bad. Starting and not taking two of the five good spaces is a little odd. Wouldn't typically recommend it. But I don't know what's coming in after this drift net boat. I'm probably just day laboring second move here. But BG Freak declining an awk. Have to expect day labor is gonna awk. I mean. Wow. Also, you pretty much. Well, it's very rare you see it in this order, also. You almost always see it patron before tutor. Um, hmm. Two wood is like, okay, but food, food, plow is getting value when there's not much value on this board. 
lack of wood makes you anxious. I mean, I agree, that's not great. Reed's down three wood, hoping for one of those. Hoping that four clay is needed by someone, but uh, not sure about that. Okay, getting reeds down here is fine. Can think about playing Equipper second move here, I think. Or is Sheep Whisperer the play? I don't know, they all kind of make sense. I gave a brief thought to blocking fishing, but it's just like nowhere near efficient enough for my game compared to Reedstone. BG Freak being Oculus is a bit odd. Am I actually playing Sheep Whisperer to get Mineral Feeder going? Maybe. Waiting for pack three to drop, yeah. BG Freak apparently deciding that Freeoc round three second move is the right time to finally play something. They play stagehand, which is not particularly good. We have a teacher's desk. Oh boy. That's pretty good. Food Oc major point. It's a pretty good move. Um I play a knock and then I get either four wood or two reed. Am I actually doing this? This feels really dumb. All right, I have to decide if I'm okay with throwing away Elo or not. Eh, Equipper's not doing anything right now. Is that a good enough reason? Oh, this feels so dumb and wrong. <sighs> There's nothing like taking a move in round, in stage one. Just being like, all my instincts say you're wasting a move. Like, pretty much all my instincts are saying you're just wasting a move here. The alternative is play a quipper. Okay, I do get four wood. That's a little lucky. Day Laborer didn't need to first action. Well, kind of. Eh, BG Freak's Clay does push the issue a bit. A Woodworker and a Hearth. I don't actually like buying a Hearth when you have Teacher's Desk. All right, the Dream is to read, but it's like never coming back. Let's well, see, the problem is now I don't have the read to play Mineral Feeder. Well, unless I completely forgo this room, which I still could. All right. 
Alright, if I'm not fencing now, when am I fencing? I didn't come here to not fence. I'm hay dryer. I'm actually not fencing big. I don't think I need more than this. Constable. That's the first pick. And BG Freak to end the round. Traveling didn't get taken by a day laborer because they woodworkered, uh, they turned woodworker into mushroom collector with a bit more flexibility. I'm hoping I can do Equipper into uh, two wood and mineral feeder. That's the dream. And get a grain in round six, eight, ten, and twelve. Or I could look at ignoring Equipper. I don't know, like, what am I playing instead? Really early hay dryer and make myself build a hearth? Um, so the rationale, Dr. Bois, is like, what else am I doing right now? Right now, it actually looks like I might get Forest into start for Reed Bank. That would be the dream. Well, I don't know if I'd actually start. Ooh, early growth. That's not what I wanted to see. That's not what I wanted to see. Laoju has the um, slight edge on early growth stuff, it looks like. It depends on how efficient day laborers' ox are, but, you know, patron tutor teacher's desk probably wants late growth. I definitely am playing towards late growth. BG Freak has no cards played, which doesn't necessarily help with um, early growth. Laoju on clay here. They don't have to build right now giving themselves and BG Freak a free move instead of the opposite seems fair enough. I mean, kind of severe, but like they don't have any like super powered woodcardy type stuff, like build a button, whereas Laoju has good fishing actions which definitely can have a lot of value in early grow. Um, traveling is, you know, it's a good time to take it if you're not BG Freak, but BG Freak hitting their own traveling just means stage hand is a wasted action. 
Um, if day laborer starts, then I'm major minoring this mineral feeder, but uh, I'd be a little surprised if this was start player. Single read is the action I'm hoping this isn't. This is where if Day Laborer built a fireplace, they'd have, well, they'd have two more clay, but they'd also have an easy major minor action to teacher's desk, and that seems like a pretty efficient thing to do right now. Unless they want four clay or are thinking about woodworkering some more wood. So Lao Jude's probably building second action. BG Freak would be growing. All right, what do we have here? Run out preparer. It's not too scary. Roof ladder. Well, it's looking a little clay support C, but not really. It's happening. It's happening. Mineral feeder is gonna give me stuff. <laughs> this is so silly. Clay bricklayer clay supports would be really scary. I, I discounted the option of bricklayer because of um, not having played it before uh, Hearth, but could be. <laughs> Not even the most niche card, true. I have played a Sheep Whisperer. Actually, possibly nutritioning. There's no way I have enough veggies for that, right? Six clay for Laoju makes a lot of sense. Four wood probably for BG Freak, though. Uh, Preventing Day Laborer from getting a Reed Stone action is kind of tempting. You had the same thought? Nice. Well, I would very much like to take four wood here if I'm allowed. I also need food. And I am growing next round. Hmm. Our action advantage seems really sketchy, but what doesn't seem sketchy is having extra sheep from Sheep Whisperer and possibly an extra cow or two from Hay Dryer and extra grain from all these minerals that I'm feeding. We have some Brotherly Love and a Wool Grower. I mean, these ox that have come after Patron Tutor have been um, not the best. Okay, so if I want to take four wood right now, I have to be pretty careful. Um, because I can try to build next round and grow with credit. And that could work.
The thing that I can't allow or would be risking is day laborer starting with beating rod. Possible. Um, though they probably would have done that already. But most importantly, Laoju starting and BG Freak taking Wood Wood destroys me. It also makes Day Laborer's life worse, does it? Hmm, be incentivized to take Wood. I think there's maybe enough Wood pressure right now. What am I getting if I don't do this? If I just build? I'm going to claim I don't get anything good enough. Why did I think Laoju was going to start? I'm dumb. For not following the growth queue. So, well, I have to hope that BG Freak doesn't have wood on start player. But that's relatively safe. Because they can just take 3 wood, 3 wood, or 3 wood start player. Well, no, 3 wood, 3 wood. If Day Laborer allows... Eh, there's, there's enough going on here to be a little confusing. I think I'm fine. I think that's the right three wood to take. First pick parlor. Yeah, that would be uh, really bad. Day labor going for three sheep, which I think is a really bad move, unless they're fully, fully committed to uh, clay rooms, which, how good is that? Uh, this is just start for six wood. And they have room priority over day laborer in round eight to grow again. Yeah, now this is looking pretty good for BG Free. Yeah, definitely thank you, chat, for keeping quiet. I very much appreciate it. Okay. Well, this could definitely be going worse, so I think I'm okay with where this is at. Growing third in an early growth game. I got Mineral Feeder going somehow in all of this mess, so... And I'm not too far from hay drying. Could build stables, but I don't see a need to when hay dryers in hand. Can grow with credit. Credit's flexibility being awesome here. Laoju takes a very strong six food and a wood action on a pretty lame board. Reed has been tight, so... I don't know exactly what that means. <laughs> Can't believe we got our pot of salt out. True. I'm just good at the game. Hey, Kung Ming. You enjoyed my thought process around the growth queue, like completely forgetting it needed to be allowed to use action last round. <laughs> I know that's not what you're talking about, but... Uh, BG Freak building the well instead of starting is a little odd. Uh, start player is pretty good when it gets you a grow. Uh, and I can't play Wage for food yet, but credit does the job. It is a little early for credit. I am going to have to pay back three of these, but uh, to be able to grab the four wood in a game where there aren't too many extra resources floating around... Uh, this early growth shouldn't be 
too hurtful, I don't think. I mean, I could grow with Wage and eat a raw grain. It's pretty obvious I'm not going to. It's the same. It's definitely the same. Barrow Pusher, played by Lao Ju. And like now, what's BG Freak doing? Were they that afraid of someone taking Major Minor? I mean, I think it was premature to build the well. And they could have started. Um, I think that's also maybe good for my game that there's a little more equity around the action counts, but I don't know. Day laborer having or not getting completely screwed over in the queue isn't amazing either because they've got so many cards played. Yeah, I think we've we've had a lot of breaks regarding the wood and reed situations. I don't know. I, I don't think I would be afraid of a teacher's desk proc. And also if you just like delay the well by around, is it that big of a deal? You still have dibs on it. It's more effort for you to... I mean, to be clear, it's very uncertain. Like, you have to basically enumerate the possibilities, which can get pretty messy. <laughs> Who has Lumberjack Gurr? Uh, there's a chance I have four wood. Yeah, if Laoju doesn't take two wood here, then I get four. The day laborer is building. Yeah, this is all going pretty nicely. Yeah, we, we don't know the the ox. It's a, it's a bona fide mystery. If this turns out to be a worthwhile Sheep Whisperer, oof, this'll be a, could be a game to remember. Veg coming out really, really tempts me into Nutrition Expert World. I can still sow veg by stage 5 and grain by stage 4 for greening plan, but I really need to hop on the tilling. And I do owe a notable amount of food right now to this hod. I don't, I don't have another option besides four wood here. I also have the option to... Um, plow more than six fields. Usually I'd want more actions in order to do something like that. <laughs> I 
Four clay for BG Freak is kind of annoying. What I think I want to do here is three wood day laborer. Put some wood clamps on, because, like, where's everyone's wood? BG Freak is looking a little. Well, no. If they had wood carrier, they would take a quipper, right? Hmm. Like, what are powerful wood cards that haven't been played yet? I feel like just keep taking wood has to be good. I might have to take traveling next round. Because, uh, you know, traveling Haydryer Fence looks pretty good. I think Casual Worker Stockman is probably not worth chasing down here. Wow, you ready to build another room? Well, time to get a little nervous about the cookeries. Wonder if Loudju's gonna think about pottery instead. I'd be thinking about pottery in their shoes. Or clay oven, yeah. Well, clay oven removes one of my outs for feeding. But yeah, clay oven makes a lot of sense. BG Freak starts to build, which they could have done last round. If they are building, that means uh, traveling is pretty safe. Well, it, I mean, it doesn't come with a penalty, I should say. Traveling's not an amazing action here, to be clear. But I'm just trying to, um, not die and keep setting up some good stuff here. I mean, my floor is extremely high already compared to the rest of the table. I think I just first action the traveling. Well, hmm. Hmm. I know. BG Freak is trying to greed it. Um, hmm. I do have a wage. Right now I'm thinking about what cooking implement I'm ending up with.
Oh. Well, no, I can't play three field rotation. That uh, I was thinking for a sec that three field rotation wasn't out. Um, I have to admit I'm just kind of dead if I don't get traveling. I don't like helping BG Freak, but if I take traveling at all this round, I have to give BG Freak a room. The other option is like wage and day laborer. It feels bad. Zizak, I, I have a mineral feeder. It's the whole impetus for playing Sheep Whisperer and Fencing 4. <laughs> I think I just have to admit that um, I'm letting BG Freak grow this round instead of Laoju. Um... I can't really tell who I'd rather have the extra action. I think at this point I would rather let BG Freak have the extra action. Yeah, no, Mineral Feeder has text on it this game. It says you get four grain. Taking the forest here instead of building, I think is fine. There's no rush on the build action anymore. I mean, forest or farmland both seem good. I mean, building just forces BG Freak to grow here. I mean, you're not really gaining much by building here, I don't think. You're just letting me and Day Laborer have slightly better actions. Oh, free food. That explains some of the fireplace sheep aggressiveness. They labor taking clay is worrisome. It means my cookery life is even more complicated. Um, oh god, is this oven sight? Oh no. Oven sight, uh... <laughs> Puts me into nutrition worlds. Um, yeah, there's Cookery Outfitter, but I know that one didn't go around. Alright, I think I play Haydryer and Fence. Bit of an odd start player here. Rocky terrain to turn a food into a stone off of Barrow Pusher. Neat. How big am I fencing? Uh, six bases. I do want four pastures so that I can get free cows. Yeah, Laoju's sequencing here is a little strange, but if they knew they wanted to plow and start and build, then it's a reasonable sequencing. I don't know why you just wouldn't start first, though. Three stone for BG Freak looks good. Yeah, also my, my arrangement is already too messy for that kind of thing. All right, let's see if it's... um. 
well, anything at all. Please don't be fireplace. Though actually, fireplace isn't the worst thing. I just need a hearth, but I don't have the clay for it. I have to play HOD pretty urgently. Having stone oven being taken is uh, removal of oven site desires from everyone else. No, this is a pretty solid arrangement, I think. Uh, I can put the sheep up here. Okay, so I want to sew next stage. Getting three green and a veg sewn seems pretty good. Uh, yeah, I don't think Nutrition Expert... I just don't have the veggie support. My spare wood is probably hot. I don't think casual worker is doing much. Oops. Big wood actions. Nice foresight by Lao Ju if they saw this happening. Wow, four clay for BG Freak. Um, I might first action start pod here. Fishing for Laoju before growth instead of four wood. Don't think I like that. I think I'd be taking four wood in their shoes. I mean, I am hungry and I'm threatening fishing, but... Uh, my options are veg nutrition, veg sow, pigs. Um... I mean, pigs major is fine. I do have all these extra sheep. Let's see if day labor takes the pigs or not. Nope. All right, this is definitely fine. I will just take expensive fireplace at some point. Uh, veg is probably the move here. With everyone just having one field and no crops, I do have some tempo on sowing next round. Is it worth thinking about three field rotation? Maybe.
All right, I'm gonna take my move and run to the bathroom. I know I don't quite have a ton of time here, but I really need to, to use the restroom. So I'll take my fireplace, I think. That's by far the safest thing I could be doing. So I'm not gonna starve. All right, be back in a sec. Okay. Yeah, there there were no fireplace lines and I agree they're risky. Um but what I'm looking at right now is start wage. And then veg so maybe. Oh, I just stayed start player? Do I just start wage here? Or do I start three field rotation? Ooh, day laborer got a grain. Better play it a little safer. All right, so BG Freak fenced. Normally. Indeed, we are mostly playing for ceiling. Um, I am gonna go for veg so here, even though I could get blocked and that would not be good. Inner districts going on for some wood, makes sense. And food. Yeah, Day Laborer having played Brotherly Love but not getting to four people is uh, unfortunate. Okay, do I take the risk? I think I do. And I mean... Hmm. 
This, this could go badly. I mean, sowing one veg is just so low value. Are you really going to do it? Okay. Dodged. Catastrophe dodged, I should say. And yeah, I'm very happy with either round 12 space. Because there's only three rounds left to day laborer once I don't take day laborer here. And uh, I don't really want to lock in day labor all three rounds. That's not quite my style. To uh, lock in late game actions on pretty mess space. Can always get blocked in the late game. But yeah, my food is figured out. Um, I'm on pace to get eight sheep. I'll eat four of them. I'm on pace to get seven cows. I'll eat, what, three of them? On pace to get five pigs. Might not eat any of them. My ceiling, again, is a little low right now. And uh, the ovens are gone. The well's gone. Kind of down to guilds in a lower resource game. And I am getting so. The napper being played. It's an interesting way to get a point. Again, another reason to have built fireplace here instead of hearth. Alright, in terms of aesthetics, uh, this is the option I'm going with, <laughs> uh, though could argue for, um, what was the other argument? I don't remember. What aesthetics are better than this? <laughs> no wrong choices? Do I have a renovate plan this game? Does it look like I have a renovate plan this game? <laughs> I, this is a pretty classic Luminous JFR situation. It takes multiple actions to gather these reno parts. Um, All I really want to play from here on out is a greening plan, card-wise. Lumberjack, it's over there. Four late game wood. That's uh not the best second doc. I've seen better.
All right, let's see what Vincent uh, feels like giving me. I think Urgent Wish is better, but Cultivation's still acceptable. All right, we got one last Mineral Feeder Grain. It's the eighth grain. And it's Cultivation, okay. I uh, could just re uh, restart. Obviously, sowing a veggie. For. I have eight green reasons, and for. Um, greening plan reasons. Okay, and things are like still. Going relatively smoothly here. I guess I could play three field rotation. How much food do I have right now again? I owe one more for credit. I can eat a sheep, so I have one food. Do I play three field rotation? Or do I take the read and hope I get some renos? Reed bank is still in a little demand by Lao Ju, because they get veggies and have BMW. Alright, so do I go read bank and hope this hod gives me enough clay? I guess. Alright, maybe I am renovating. It's a really good way to play a couple of these. Starting for Urgent Wish made a lot of sense too, but... Trying to figure out what day laborer is doing. Not easy. What happens if someone takes four clay? Well, but I have the hod. And because Lao Ju has fences now, day laborer doesn't have any pigs. I'm thinking that two pigs gets taken now, and one pig or two pigs gets taken later in the game. By me, if necessary. What I'm really hoping for is, well, this is fine. I, I can start now. Is that helping Lao Ju too much? Is Lao Ju gonna start player anyway if I don't? Uh, I didn't commit to two Renos. I wouldn't say I'm thinking of it that way. 
An interesting option right now is casual worker. I don't think it's interesting enough. Alright, I need to eat a sheep to pay for credit. I'm gonna eat another one later also. We have a pasture master, that's interesting. Where are your stables? When are you gonna build stables, BG Freak? RSF would have been good for one reno with pottery, that is true. That is definitely true. Um, but... I can't exactly, well, I think I was very concerned about preventing Laoju from being able to use Small Basket. Maybe over-concerned. But uh, I, I am somewhat scared of how good their game is. Oh, you know what we all have to get ready for is um, gambling on my thinking time this game. Wasted half a minute in the bathroom on my clock and um, also the, uh, the overall thinking has been a little long here. We have an undo on the Renault acorn basket. Spent 45 seconds pondering the ramifications of red start player instead of growing second. That also happened, yes. That did happen. All right, I think I'm pretty glad that I never played Equipper this game. Um, kind of classic, honestly, that uh, there's enough opportunities to play your cards in the growth queue and on start player a mix of those this mineral feeder was start player for two read which is effectively start to build and then grow credit was on grow hod for starting player around 12 three field for start player around 13 and i have greening plan on reno or for start player around 14. uh is this two stables wow That is an interesting one. To get like five more food out of Pasture Master. All right, done paying off credit. Um. It's possible I did my food math wrong. It's possible I had enough to play greening plan, but I didn't fully walk through that. I did not see Hide Farmer in the draft. Yeah, the constable is played. That's first pick from Laoju. And we are yet to see the um, the power ox that let me have Haydryer. We are yet to see those. 
Uh, do want to remember that there is a game trade in the draft for constable reasons. So if Laoju doesn't have a cow but does have three sheep, you know, can pretty reasonably expect that to be what's happening. Um, Laoju is also a big threat to take start player. Because the cultivation helps them immensely towards constable. They probably take two sheep first. What else am I doing this round, though? Interesting fence arrangement there. Day labor is, like, incredibly important for this round. I just need to figure out, am I taking clay or not? There's a lot of renovations wanted by the table here. I don't think I really have time to take the clay. Is it worth playing casual worker? Probably not. I mean, it's only two max, and it might only be one. Yeah, this is this is very unclear, but I'll take the six clay. Hey Chris Ho, it does. It does. Unfortunately, Lao Ju throws down the start player. Uh, we can take the sheep in defense. Took the six clay to, well, it lets me buy hearth on Reno if I also play greening plan. Um, and it makes pottery a much worse play for anyone else. Those were the reasons that I considered six clay. Game trade does get played here by BG Freak. Getting past a day laborer is actually huge. Um, for day laborer. Well, that makes me want to take sheep in defense a lot less. Because game trade's never getting to Laoju. They probably just have enough actions to... Um, Get all their animal types. The nice thing about threatening Reno is that it buys me better actions next round too. Like it might get me urgent wish.
Wage instead of game trade. Putting it off. Interesting. Or maybe just saying I don't want to play game trade to help someone else get constable? Possibly? Hard to tell exactly what's going on over there. Should be using this time to calculate my food situation. I have eight if I day labor plow eat a sheep. Three field rotation. So go have one going into next round. I have three extra cows. Yeah. If I don't build a stable. I probably have two food from a day labor. I'm minus three food on a greening plan. So the day labor food actually could be worth a point. Reno parts for day labor. Okay. I'm on board with renovation threats from everyone. That is good for me, I think. Laju does get two sheep with last action here. Everyone else has breeding sheep already. And indeed, taking two reed instead of reed stone doesn't look like a very good decision right now. Not even having pottery backup, though. Yeah, I don't know if I had time to play pottery either. I have three more animal points that I'm currently showing by the end of the game. Now just two. I have five on greening plan. And I'm getting like a three point move to open Reno or Urgent Wish. I would expect cultivation to be taken by someone. And I have three from Constable once I get that field. The field itself is one, so we can think of the plow as a four point move. Four, two, six, five, eleven. So I, I have 45 with two moves expected. There's like no world I get Reno with everyone being able to Reno here, so I get like the second best action. So I'm hoping Day Laborer goes for cultivation. Not sure how realistic that is. Urgent wish is okay.
Yeah, I guess the cultivation is more important for Lao Zhu than the um, Reno. But I don't know. They could have uh, maybe got Reno back. Or um, plow back. Regular plow. I'm not sure they needed to do this first. Though this lets them take cows. Lots of food from this pasture master for BG Freak. Looks a little like they might have taken something like Lord of the Manor first. Uh, this is probably Reno Pottery, get a stone, play an Ock. Right? Oh no, they've played seven Ox already. Oh, hmm. Yeah, they run out anyway. Okay. Oh, and they have an extra stone. Oh, they're a reed stone away from building. Oh, never mind. Pottery. Oh, math. How hard you are sometimes. All right. Urgent wish is fine. I mean... Cows are, like... A pretty similar swing against Laoju. But I'm basically saying that I have enough points here to just play my own game and make sure I get past BG Freak also. Day Laborer looks a bit too far behind. I hope this is the right read, but I guess it doesn't necessarily end up being the right read in some situations. Yeah, I was just saying I took the wrong read action. I might actually have to day labor before um, playing greening plan. Stables does look maybe safe. But not if someone takes wood. And actually, Day Laborer can use Inner District, though, is out of actions, so maybe not. They could go uh, Forest to Joinery here, but the pigs do seem better, okay. I'm going to play this safe and take my 4.2 food move. Okay, greening plan now looking a little manka. Though, I mean, whichever way I do it, I'm taking a risk, and this one has a little hidden information. The bonus being Laoju doesn't know about Greening Plan. I think the other players do. A day Labor probably just wants three clay and a stone. Mm, but BG Freak is going to play game trade. Oh. Uh oh. I forgot about game trade wanting to happen. Possibly twice. Oh no. Oh no. Please.
Don't let me lose that way. Oh no, I really hope I didn't mess up this endgame. Uh oh. Well, BG Freak not playing game trade there is a significant relief. Wow, we got it through. Uh, that, that's just lucky, I think. Equip. I totally forgot that Equipper wasn't out. Completely missed it. And I probably would have just taken three wood stables. I, I would have bombed it, I think. It looks like I'm going to survive, though. Uh, in the in the better way. Even still have veggie as a point here. I'm not sure three wood stables is worse than. I mean, I think it does give me a capacity point. So I think it's like three points for two moves. But it, greening plan is like two moves for five points, right? I don't think the capacity is tricky to figure out. I've got everything covered except my fifth and sixth cow. Well, yes, Dictator, that's that's what I was saying. If I play Greening Plan first, then Day Labor is a very clear block for a lot of people. Though I can get my Constable with Stables. But it does turn out that it was riskier than I initially realized. Um, get it through. Get it through and even get this last one point action of veg. Uh, I don't think there's anything else. Can't play farm building. That's just worse. Yeah. Forty-eight, I think. Forty-nine. Forty-nine, three-room wood house, early growth, sheep whisperer, mineral feeder. I mean, uh, the the true good cards of this game were definitely carrying me. Tiller and Hay Dryer, but yeah, this this ended up working. Um, even if I get relegated to stables instead of greening plan, I think I lose two points. But I'd probably still win that, it looks like. Hey, thanks, Jay Shavy.
Good farming wins once again. I mean, have to also be thankful that there wasn't a ton of wood added to this game. If there was a lot of wood added to this game, I could be toast against Laoju or BG Freak having huge action advantage. Successfully ignored nutrition expert, correct. Styling with 10 clay. Look, that clay is tactical clay, okay? It bought me urgent wish. I don't even know if that's true. <laughs> Mini quest. Well, Chris, so if you want to redeem your channel credits for trash talk, that doesn't seem too offensive. I might accept that one. But there is a, there's a way to, to make me do that. Oh, I forgot to gamble on thinking time. We can still do that. I can, like, pull up this screen. To hide it. God, uh, I want to say like 32 minutes is maybe, or 33, like it, it felt like a long one. I'll say 32. Oh, that's a five minute prediction? Hold on, don't do not do that one. I need to make it shorter. One minute to, to predict, go. <laughs> All right, Chris, so I pasted it. All right, get your gambles in. Get your gambles in. Thirty-two minutes over under on my think time. When we open that tab up and look at the stats. All right, got about 30K channel credits on the line here. Are we ready? Fast think time believers. 34.52. Significantly over. Significantly over. We are well over 32 minutes. 30,000 and 42 channel credits going to the deniers, the speed deniers. <laughs> you just won back double. <laughs> you just picked the less popular one. Yeah, it ended up being very close 50-50. Cosmo with the biggest bet on the over. All right, let's take a look at the stats here. End up with the biggest family. A bit odd in an early growth game that Three Room House takes the biggest family award. Second fewest actions. Basically tied for the most wood taken off the board. What the heck is this song? Oh! When I reloaded my library, I'm not sure all of my old deletes kept staying deleted but everyone got a lot of food from cards this is a sheep whisperer but no this mostly looks pretty good um not too much value lost i mean not getting reed stone taking two reed instead taking the reno parts like 
Why do I even ever try for Renoing? But I don't have much other ceiling here, right? I was kind of tapped out otherwise, unless I wanted to go for stables. So, could have gone for stables, but then I think my tactical abilities are less. So, I'm overall happy enough with this line. Mineral Feeder MVP, I mean, it doesn't really make sense without Tiller, right? The real MVP is Assistant Tiller, as, as usual, and Haydryer was excellent. Had enough food from, I mean, credit was also pretty important too. Having credit in hand let me take four wood in round six. But I mean, a point and four grain for a read. That didn't slow down my room. Timing was also very big. So yeah, just a lot of things that barely worked out, I think. I didn't regret playing Sheep Whisperer in round three. First time ever, I didn't regret playing Sheep Whisperer in stage one. Actually ever, I think. So that's funny. Why did we get Haydryer? <sighs> Still a great question. I mean... Oh no. Like... It had to have been Wool Grower and or Woodworker? Well, not and or. Or Woodworker? There's no way that's right. Oh gosh. little stick. You won't catch me taking little stick over Haydryer. Hawk Tower is a bit of a nonbo with Haydryer thematically, but I think you would still take it. Truffle isn't too bad. Truffle Woodworker? Wait, no, Truffle... Oh, was it Inner District? It was Inner District. It was Inner District. I thought I saw Inner District, but apparently not. There's a Bell Founder? That could explain why Clay Eater got taken. Just hope for Bell Founder or D Draft. It's a non-bow with Haydryer because getting to stone and fencing four pastures early enough doesn't ever feel easy to do. So in my opinion, it's a thematic non-bow, at least the way I play, like usually when I'm fencing early enough to get a good Haydryer, getting to stone is not easy. That's how I see it. Alright, so how did this go for Day Laborer? They took Teacher's Desk. And Woodworker? I mean, you don't really need Equipper, but I think if you have Teacher's Desk, Clay Eater is a good way to get that one wood. It's kind of underwhelming. Nutrition Expert, I think, is viable here. I would not be taking Woodworker first ever. This is like Weirdo Mushroom Collector. And it was Inner District Truffle Slicer. Uh, I mean, I can understand Truffle Slicer, but these are not the ox I'd be picking. So, I uh, have to say I had a good spot in the draft here. What else didn't I see? I guess I can look really quickly. Muddy Puddles never came out. Whoa! Muddy puddles. And there was a pile, legit piles of clay in the end game. Wow, you had a pile of clay in the end game. Wow. Why didn't they play muddy puddles? Is that what they were going to major minor and didn't? I, don't, I already don't remember how that. No, they did major minor and it wasn't muddy puddles. I mean, muddy puddles make sense with Constable, and the rest of that pack kind of sucked, so. That part makes sense. Enough sense. Oh, and then like... 
Barrel pusher over patron is fine. Pasture master over patron. I don't know about that. You already passed a tutor? I think. Maybe not. We have very, uh, very interesting draft. It was, if it was me around the table, four me's at the table, it, the draft probably would have gone differently. Okay, uh, I gotta sign off here. I got some work later this afternoon I need to attend to. Um, hope you all have a good rest of your day. I am off tomorrow, back with the stream on Thursday and Friday. I'll hope to see you then. Um, or at a later date. I think that's all I have for now.